What is up guys DSTK here I have spent last 48 hours rigorously testing iOS and iPadOS 17.7 so in this video I will break down everything you need to know about the performance battery life benchmark results crucial security patches bug fixes and most importantly should you update or not the size of this update is 643 MB on this 15 Pro as this update does not have any flashy new features but it contains important security updates along with the several bug fixes among the 16 crucial security patches there are two significant flaw has been fixed in this update one is labeled as cve by this number could potentially allow network traffic to escape a vpn tunnel while another cve under this number could permit unauthorized bluetooth access by malicious apps another notable patch cve by this number resolves an issue where attacker with physical access to a device could control nearby device via accessibility features i will list the link of this article in the description down below to check the info about each security fixes in ios and ipadOS 17.7 in terms of performance, so far everything runs smoothly. I haven't encountered issues like overheating, app crashing, network related problem and connectivity related issues with Bluetooth or AirDrop. If I talk about the benchmarks results, then here you can check for the single core it is 2928 and for the multi core it is 7310. If we compare with the average score for the single core and the multi core, you can check both are pretty high. And same for the GPU benchmark score which is also impressive at 27403, of course higher than the average score score showing a clear improvement with the latest iOS 17.7. In terms of battery life which is the biggest concern for all the user out there watching this video then from last 48 hours I am testing this software update on my primary device and here I am getting on average 7 to 8 hours of the screen on and off time. If we check the battery analytics of the last 10 days then here you can check I am getting 7 hours of the battery backup on just 75% of the charge. Previously in iOS 17.6.1 it was just around 4 to 5 hours so definitely that's an, a massive improvement so if you are a bit concerned about the battery life then here's the green flag to update your iPhone to the latest iOS 17.7 based on my uses. Regarding iPadOS 17.7 I had tested it for 24 hours and I couldn't resist myself to upgrade to iPadOS 18 to check out new features however if you are currently on iPadOS 17.6.1 or older I highly recommend upgrade your iPad to the latest 17.7 you will see significant improvement in both performance and in terms of battery life similar to iOS 17.7. So should you update or not based on my extensive testing the answer is yes the performance and battery gain alone make it worth the upgrade and as always make sure to wait for my in-depth review after 48 hours of real world use to get the most accurate insights. If you found this video helpful then consider subscribing to stay up to date with the latest Apple release. Drop your thoughts on iOS and iPadOS 17.7 in the comments below. Don't forget to leave a like and I will catch you in the next video.